I'm a Southside resident, but I teach preschool. Charlie, I teach preschool at North Lawndale YMCA. I started working for the YMCA to spend more time with my daughter, who was enrolled in the after-school programs. Back then, teachers and staff had the time and resources to give kids individual attention, personalized lessons, and even some extras like field trips to the center. But now, nine years later, I go to work and wonder what happened. There are no field trips in the early childhood program I work for. Half the time, teachers are reaching to their own pockets for essentials like materials for science projects and sometimes winter coats for kids who don't have any. Last spring, all of our teachers got an email stating that they have a yearly budget of $1,000 to spend on our kids, and none of, us, none of the children have seen a penny of that money. So you can understand why I'm skeptical that I am never going to see the $11 million that our mayor promises he's spending on our kids this year. Where is that money going? Chicago has seen a net decrease of nearly 4,000 early learning slots this year. $11 million wouldn't begin to pay for that. We're short 714 slots in North Lawndale's community alone. The child up here with me today and the 714 children like them might not achieve their dreams to be firemen, doctors, Charlie's gym teacher, <laughs> because they're being excluded from Emmanuel's promise to make every child college ready. It is not just slot shortage that's the problem. The city's early childhood programs are so underfunded that our YMCA center is forced to find kids who qualify, not just for one, but for two or three funding streams at once just to keep our doors open. The teachers and centers are overworked, understaffed, and desperate to fill the few slots we have. More than once, I've seen a child join a center before we could even find time to finish their paperwork. The children were kicked out two weeks later when it turns out that they didn't qualify and have enough extra funding to even stay in the center or keep our center afloat. This unstable environment is damaging for the teachers who work long hours for poverty wages, the parents who struggle to find care for their kids so they can go to work, and most of all, the children being cheated out of a bright educational future. Rahm Emanuel says he's putting our children first, but in my community, our kids feel like an afterthought. The kids standing in this room with me today dream of becoming doctors, lawyers, councilmen, aldermen, and on their behalf, I'm here to demand that we all hold our city accountable for the promises that have been made to our children's futures. So, Mr. Emanuel, where is our $11 million? Thank you.